Okay, I think we're live now. Yep, we sure are. Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, today we are doing something a little bit different. No racing hey, today. Back, um, uh, today. Not getting tired of it, but just wanted to try something no different. Today. So I just not picked up Car Mechanic today. Simulator 2021, I and uh, I was really happy when I found out that if you look up here, there's a Z. Then we have another Z. So um, needless to say, pretty happy about that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and we are going to fully restore, or we'll actually rescue mod this Datsun 240Z. And um, all right, first off, let's go ahead and just turn off this music. It's absolutely terrible. All right, there we go. All right, let's get this thing. I think. The first thing we should probably do is probably go get this thing washed and see what we're working with. So let's go ahead and move the car to the car wash. All right, now that we're here in the car wash, let's go ahead and wash the car. Let's see what we're working with. Okay, not not terrible. Not terrible. Probably better than you would find a Datsun in real life. All right, let's go ahead and move it back to the second lift. All right. Now, first things first. Let's go ahead and now, first things first. Uh, let's go ahead and take off all the body parts because those got to get taken care of. Let's go ahead and take the window out, take the trunk out, take the right door off, take the bumper off, the tail light, the other tail light, and the fenders. Oh, actually, I think we forgot one thing. We forgot the front bumper. There we go. Oh, actually, I think we so this is kind of what we're looking at right now. So this is kind mm. of what we're looking at right now. Let's go ahead and work on getting the motor pulled so that we can go ahead and fix the body. Let's go ahead and put this thing Let's up go ahead on the work lift. On getting the motor pulled. All right. Um, let's go ahead and jack it up higher. So what I really like about this game is it's like, mm, it's pretty realistic, really but like not to the point where it like becomes like tedious. So as you can see, we're taking off the, the wheel right now, and this one, can't take it off yet because you need to, apparently WD-40 can break anything free. So let's go ahead and take off all the wheels. And I don't know if you guys caught it or not, but um, this is kind of what my actual Z is doing right now. It's except it's on jack stands and in my garage, and not in a shop that looks like this. But my motor does look very similar to that. Anyway, back to the dots. BF great rolls. Love how they got around the, uh, the copyright. All right, so all the wheels are off. Let's go and take the exhaust right, off so while we're underneath all here. All the wheels are off. Let's go. Take the exhaust off while we're underneath. Take the rear. Take the middle. If only it was that easy to take off an exhaust in real life. The catalytic converter and apparently that. All right. So we got the exhaust off. All right. Next, let's go ahead and focus on the dry shaft. Take that, 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 that. The dry shaft is out. And let's get the trans out so that we can actually pull this motor. Take the starter out, and then we can work on the gearbox itself. That one, of course. Just rest it in. Now, now, now I think we can now pull the motor. Nope, first we gotta drain the oil. Let's go here and grab that. Let's move this over to here. Go ahead and drain the oil. Look at that oil. That's pretty gross. Look at that. Let's go ahead and take that and move that away. Put it back in its place. Bring it down. 
Now that's not the original motor that comes in a uh, Datsun 240Z. That, 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 that looks more like a. I don't know. It looks like a JZ. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's go and pull that motor out. We'll move this over to the engine. We'll move this and pull the motor out. If only pulling a motor was that easy. And just like that, the motor's gone. So we can go ahead and start pulling everything else out. Battery out. Um, ECU. That is a ugly ECU. Brake servo. Oh, I didn't drain the fluids. Uh, fuse box cover. All of these fuses. I mean, uh, they all look to be in okay condition. I think we can leave that. They all look to be in okay condition. Yeah, let's leave that. I think we can leave that. All right. Exit out of there. Yeah, let's leave that. Air intake. Let's take that out. Oh. Exit out of there. Got to do the clips just like in real life. Got to do the clips just like in real life. Most of the time, if you're buying a older car like this, time, those clips aren't even going to be there. Older car like this, those clips and then we can go and remove the radiator. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Forgot to drain the radiator. And for some reason, it won't let us pull out the intercooler, except if we're underneath the, uh, the car. All right, let's do this right. <sighs> so tedious. What? what? Exit. There we go. And there we go. The engine bay is pretty much naked. And Except for the ECU. The bay is much naked. Let's lift this back up. Lift this back up. Pull the intercooler. Mm, pull somehow. The intercooler. There we go. Now we can pull the intercooler. Okay, time to tackle the suspension. Brakes don't tackle. really look that terrible. Oh, we gotta break, take the calipers off first. Really the caliper terrible. bolts loose, just like in real life. Pull the pads. Pull the disc pull the itself. Pads. Wheel hub cap. Oh, the wheel cap. bearing. Uh, the hub. Dust shield. Outer tie rod. Lower suspension arm. These are actually in really good condition considering. These are actually in really good condition. Shock, except in real life that's not how it is. Uh, we can pull in the inner tie rod. Is. While we're over on this side, let's go and pull the bushings out. Anybody who's actually worked on cars in real life know that pulling bushings like this is not a real thing. But what if it was? Make life so much easier. Subframe, can't take the subframe apart yet because we need to go to the other side. Subframe, can't Let's pull the caliper. Yet, the, uh, the pads itself. The brake, the hub cap, the wheel bearing. I keep forgetting to do the wheel bearing sometimes. So when it's brown like that, it means that it's rusted on, so you need to use WD-40 to pull it out. Uh, the outer tie rod. Now, in real life, I would love to have one of these cars. I mean, I know it's kind of cliche right now, especially in the JDM scene, but I mean, even if it is cliche, it still doesn't change the fact that this is a beautiful car, and they're getting just so ridiculously expensive to get. And I would probably do something very similar to what we're doing in the game. I would probably do something very similar to what we're doing in the game. And just like that, the entire front end is taken apart. Look at that. Just like that, the entire front end is taken apart. So weird seeing it like that. All right, now let's do the rear. So weird seeing it like that. So we're gonna take this car literally completely apart, just like what people would do at like a concourse level restoration facility. 
Uh, and in fact, there's this one uh, YouTube channel, uh, Contempo uh, Concept, I think it is, one, uh, uh, where they do uh, this level uh, of uh, restoration on vehicles. And uh, where they do this level I don't have the patience for that vehicles. myself, but it is amazing to see the type of work that they do. Myself, but uh, I think we need to go with the springs first. Spring cap, and then we can take the leaf bolts. Spring plate for bushings, and you can see that's more realistic right there. And solid axle arm. Let's go to the other side. There we go. Let's start off with the caliper again. So one good thing about this game is if you don't know a whole lot about working on cars, um, this is a great teaching tool to get the very baseline of how a car is put together. Uh, the developers, I think, did a really good job with that, like making it realistic but not overly realistic to the point. Now, there is another simulator game out there. Um, I believe it's called Wrench or something like that, where it's way more realistic. And um, uh, I, I thought about picking it up, but I don't know if I want that level of complexity in a game that I'm playing just to have fun. I mean, this, this is pretty in-depth as it is, so I think we have the... Oh, wait, no, we've got the fuel tank. I take the fuel pump out, and then the fuel tank. And just like that, the entire car, well, for the most part, is stripped. Let's go ahead and take out the windows and stuff like that, too, so we can fix the body. Take the windshield out, just like that. Uh, the interior, let's go ahead and take out the interior stuff, too. Uh, the interior, let's go ahead uh, I don't know why I did that, I'm sorry. Front seat, front seat, because I want to put different front seats in there. And probably a different steering wheel. I want to put different front seats in there. So there's that. probably different steering wheel. All right. So it took me forever to figure this out, but um, right. messing around with the game, I was so finally able to figure out how out, to fix uh, all that body work. Game, so if we go over here, there's a welder. And we'll just move it over to the bay that has the Datsun in it. And if we click on it, just like this, it will, the welder will fix the entire car. Which I think is a little unrealistic, but hey, whatever. Let's move that back. All right, so next thing up is uh, let's go ahead and paint this bad boy. Well, actually, no. We... We should probably rebuild the motor, to be honest. So let's check what vehicle, what motors we can actually put in this. And the only one is the inline six turbo. The only one is the inline six turbo. All right. Well, let's go ahead and um, get that built out then. So in order to build the motor, we have to go to the other part of the shop, which is over here. So in order to build the motor, we have to go. And we have to use the engine stand, which makes sense. And we have to scroll through all these different motors that you can use, or build rather, and find the one that we want to build, which is this inline six BU2 turbo. So let's go ahead and build that. The first thing we got to do is switch to parts mode, which we need the block. So we're going to add that to our list, add the tablet, and do some shopping. Let's go ahead and buy that part. Now, one thing that I found out about this game is that you can actually paint individual uh, car parts. So let's go ahead and run over to our paint shop and paint the block real quick. Come here to the paint shop, click parts, and you can see these are all the parts that we took off the car. Um, and most of them are like not in good condition, so we're not going to mess with it. But the one that is in good condition is the block. So here's the block. Now, I know red is a pretty popular color, but I think it's kind of played out. So um, let's paint it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe. 
be a blue, Tiffany blue, maybe? Or is that kind of played out too? And you can change, like, you know, whether or not you want it to be pearl, matte, chrome. I kind of dig the chrome look. I kind of dig the chrome look. Mm, I don't know. Chameleon. Chameleon, maybe? Nah, not chameleon. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with chameleon. We'll just go ahead and paint that. Do it like that. Yeah, we'll go with chameleon. Now, I do like the attention to detail that it didn't paint the uh, piston walls now, itself, because like that, that, it that would have been really bad. All right, itself. so let's go ahead and take this back to the engine stand right. and start building our motor. Assemble part. There we go. And there is our blue motor. So one thing that I like about this game also is that it kind of helps you along. So let's go ahead and rotate the motor so that we have access to the bottom. There we go. Next up we have a crankshaft. So let's go ahead and add that to our notes. Go to the tablet and... I don't know if there's a performance one because there's like the regular car part place and then a tune up place. So, go here and see if it's. Nope. I guess we have to use the factory crankshaft. It wouldn't make sense if we could paint this. All right. And so, now looking at this, we have to add all of our pistons in and our connecting rods. Now, those I know we can get um, performance ones. But there's two types of pistons here. Okay, so but that's for V8 overhead valve, so it's probably these ones. And we need six of those. Let's go ahead and buy those. And along with pistons, we need piston rings. And along with pistons, we need piston rings. Uh, these ones. So we need six of those. Uh, then we need rod caps. Rod caps. Uh, let's check to see if they have them in the tune-up shop too. Uh, rod. Nope. Just the pistons. The so we were right. Rod. Let's go to rod. So we need six of those because this is an inline six. Six of those because this is an inline six. Uh, yeah. So we'll start off with that. Let's go ahead here. Zoom in. Place the piston. Piston rings and the rod cap itself. Torque those down. Torque those down. Go ahead and assemble some more pistons. Don't worry, we'll come back and put the crankshaft bearings on. Don't worry, we'll come back. Or caps, rather. Final piston. And our final piston. All right. Next up, we have crankshaft bearings. Let's go ahead and add those. And go here. And we need, I think, four. I may be wrong. Maybe wrong. One. Two. That was wrong. We need five. Cool. Next up, we have the oil pan. I think we can paint this oil pan too. So let's go ahead and grab that, and then we can paint it. We should go back to the other paint shop and probably paint that the same color because that would make sense. All right. There it is, right there. And 
Boom. Just like that, it saved it for us. Let's go ahead and head back to the engine building room. Put it back on. All right. Switch to assembly mode. And we'll go ahead and put the pan on. Oh, let's go and torque that down real quick, and then we can rotate the motor and see how that looks. Um, I don't know. I'm not really feeling that um, color difference. I don't know. I'm not Maybe we should just chrome it. What do you guys think? Color difference. I don't know. I'm not Maybe we should just chrome it. What do you guys think? Yeah, I say we. I say we chrome it. So we'll just run back to the uh, paint shop real quick and chrome that one. Like the traditional chrome. Chrome that one. Like the traditional There we go. And I think for that though we need to do I think for that though we need to do Is that chrome? Or is that like brushed aluminum looking? Is that chrome? Uh I think that's the closest we're gonna get. Uh, I don't know. I think that's the closest we're gonna get. I don't know. Gloss, solid, metallic, chrome. Gloss, solid. That really doesn't look like chrome, though. That really doesn't look like chrome, though. That looks terrible. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what that color we should do terrible. this. I mean the oil pan. Uh, we can always do black. Black's a good one too, and I mean we can do that as like a, a solid black. color. Or metallic maybe. Pearl. Or metallic maybe. Like I want to kind of get the closest to powder coat. Like I want to kind of get the closest oh, that. to powder coat. Uh, 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 the gloss. Yeah, that looks all right. Or the mat. Yeah, I think we should do the mat, to be honest. I think we should do the mat, to be honest. Okay, come back to the engine stand. We'll go ahead and switch to part mount mode. Okay, come back and go ahead and put our black oil pan on. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. We're gonna repaint this. We're gonna repaint Just go with a chrome, right? Just go with a chrome. Just, Just go with, with a chrome. There we go. Can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with that. All right. Let's try this again. This has to look decent at this point. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay, okay so now that we got the bottom end pretty much put together, let's okay, focus up on the top end. So first thing, let's go, and let's go ahead and find the head. I doubt there is a performance one, but oh, there is. I'm glad we looked. Okay, so we'll buy that part, and then let's go ahead and we should probably color match that. So, back to the paint shop. Now I, I, again, I know, I know that the uh, the colors kind of played out, but I don't care. I don't think in real life they would paint the inside, but I mean that's just me. Uh, I don't think in real life they would paint the inside. So but here we go. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna look, but I know that the valve cover we can definitely make up for it. So let's go and throw that on here. Switch there. Put that on, and tighten up all the head bolts. I doubt these are actual ARP head bolts, but it would be kind of cool if you could put different head bolts in here. All right, so now that we got that, we let's do the crank, the camshaft. Yeah, camshaft. 
camshaft. Yeah, camshaft. How do they not have a performance camshafts? How do they not have a performance camshafts? We need two of those because it's a dual overhead cam. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times two is twelve. So six times two is twelve. Twelve of these. I feel like those are a little expensive for what they are, but I could be wrong. I feel like those are a little expensive for what they are, but I could be wrong. I know this is really tedious, guys, but you know, that's kinda part of the fun. I know this is really tedious. Oh, I think we missed. Ah, oh, dang it, I did. Oh, I think I think I'm gonna be too short. Maybe I'm just one short. Nope, I'm too short. No, maybe I'm just one short. Nope, I'm too short. And there we go. We got two more. Let's go ahead and throw those on. There we go. We got two more. Let's go ahead and throw those on. And just like that, we're done. And Let's just go. like that, we're head done. cover, head cover. Now this is where we can start getting head cover, head a little cover. bit now more start getting customizable. There we go. All right, before we put those on, let's go ahead and head over to the paint shop real quick and paint those. What goes with, let's, I, you know, I like the gold color. I really want to be able to get these to look gold. So I think metallic, no. Pearl, chrome. I think it's chrome. I think if we tweak that a little bit, we can probably get that to look like gold. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right, cool. So we'll hold off on that, close that, and then paint the other one. I think that's going to look good. Oh, I'm excited about this, actually. Run back and put those on top of our motor. And there we go. Switch to assembly mode. Ooh, that looks good. Looks like something you'd buy in a store. And you know what? The intake manifold, we're going to do the same thing to it. And you know what? The intake I want, uh, manifold, we're gonna do the same nope. Thing to it. Gotta buy it from the regular. So while we're at it, so we have that part. Exhaust manifold, let's add that, because I'm pretty sure we can paint that too. Okay, so those two things, let's go ahead and paint those real quick the same color. I'm actually really excited now how this is going to look. I'm actually really excited now. Ah, uh, there's one. I'm actually really excited. there's one. Ah, uh, we'll paint that real quick. Uh, we'll paint that real quick. All right. Then let's what was the other part we need? The exhaust manifold. All right. Then let's what was the other part we need? Where is it? Oh, you know what? It might be one of those parts you can't paint. Oh, you know what? It might be one of those parts you can't. Paint. No, you can't paint it. Oh well, whatever. That's just going to be the only chrome spot on the external part of the motor. That's just going to be the only chrome spot. All right, let's go ahead and put that down. Oh gosh. All right, and then we can put on the 
turbochargers after we take care of this side. Ooh, yes. All right, so I doubt we can paint the throttle, but maybe the turbocharger? I, I don't know. I'm gonna go with probably not, because they're like performance parts. So we'll just wow. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. Is it too gaudy? I feel like there's so many colors going conflicting here. I really don't want to take it all apart, but I really don't want to. Uh, well, you know what? If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. Sorry, I know it's uh, whatever. side. Take the crumple off. And that one. Well, on the bright side of things, though, we won't have to go back and buy it all. We can just start assembling it again. I know, I wish there was a way I could fast forward on a live stream, but I can't, so <laughs> it is what it is. And it's not like anybody's watching this live stream anyway, so it's fine. And it's not like anybody's watching this live stream anyway, so it's fine. And almost there. Let's go ahead and pull the camshafts. Then we can pull the head. Oh, I forgot about the head bolts because we just talked about that with the ARP ones. what I get for trying to be too creative with this. This is what I get for trying to be too creative. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. We'll take the crank out, and finally the block. All right. Now let's go to the paint shop, and we can paint every chunk. So we're gonna be there. All right, now let's go to the paint Except for the timing cover, because that comes later. We didn't even get there. Except for the timing. All right. The block. All right. Let's use. All right. The block. Mm. Let's use. The block. 
black. No, just black. Regular, no. Regular? Regular. Chrome, helium, matte, custom. It's like a steel block. There we go. That looks pretty terrible. But it looks new. It was, but it looks new. It was this one. This is the previously used one. All right. And then we'll go ahead and paint the head the same color. Except it doesn't look the same. Why is that? Why? Uh, I guess that works too. Was it like Matt Chameleon, I think? Yeah. There we go. And then I think for the engine covers, we can probably use the same. No, we should do something. We should leave those gold, to be honest. I do like the gold. Um, what else did we have to paint? Was that it? We got the block, the head, those, the intake manifold was gold. Yeah, we didn't want the intake manifold gold. We wanted that, like, like kind of more raw looking. I wish we could get it to chrome without it being That might be okay. Because for some reason it won't let me chrome like the other ones. Or I haven't figured out how to yet. Chrome like the other ones. Or I haven't figured out how to yet. Okay. Alright, back to here. Shots back in. Connecting rods. And connecting rod again. And two more, two more, and we're done with the pistons. And then we've got to connect them all with the rod caps. See, that's what I don't get about this game. Why are those chrome, but I can't chrome the other pieces? Like in the paint shop. That makes absolutely no sense to me. See, because you can see that is clearly chrome, but we picked chrome in the paint shop, and we couldn't do it. Not sure why, but maybe that's something the that developers can fix in an update. Not sure why, but maybe that's something the that developers can fix in an update. Uh, lost my train of thought here. Here we go. I'll tell you what, though, it does look very clean. We'll put the engine pan back on. I mean, yeah, oil pan. Oh, that is kind of bright. There we go. And then we we'll put the head on. All the head bolts. You know, one thing I noticed is that it doesn't let us mess around with valves. But that's a pretty important part of a motor. And you know what? If the color doesn't look good this time, we're just going to go with it because I'm not going through that entire process again. Because we're still on the engine. We haven't even got to the other parts. So this is going to be a fairly long stream. I don't even know how long we've been at it right now, but 
pretty sure at least a half hour. I don't even know how long we've been at it right now. Pretty sure at least pretty sure. Sometimes like this where a four cylinder would not be a bad idea. Well, just for assembly like processes. A four cylinder would not be a bad idea. Okay, so it's not looking just terrible. A little bit of gold accents. I think okay, the so chrome manifolds will actually bad. make it look a little bit better. I think the chrome right, so let's see. The manifolds will actually make it look a little bit better. Even though our intake manifold is not truly chrome. See, uh, whatever. Not truly <sighs> whatever. Whatever. We did what we could with what we had. We did what we could with what we had. Okay, alright, maybe, maybe. Alright, and there's that. So we're right back off where we left off before... We changed the color, so let's go ahead and add the fuel filter. Well, fuel rails, actually. Not going to paint the fuel rail. That's ridiculous. Fuel filter, we do need one of those. And the fuel rail. So let's go ahead and install the fuel rail real quick. Fuel filter. Now, one thing about this game is you can actually tune the motor. So that's why we're spending the time to make sure we're getting the performance parts and not the standard parts. Do I have spark plugs? No, I don't have spark plugs. So let's go buy some spark plugs. Performance ones. I want to make sure they're performance. There we go. And the coil packs too should be performance. And I believe those are going to be red as well. And so we will have... Coils, yep. Six. Because again, this is an inline six. Now, for those who are watching, you know that there's really only two worthwhile straight sixes coming out of Japan. And me being the hardcore Nissan guy I am, I'll give you a a chance to guess which motor I prefer. Go ahead, I'll wait. While we're doing that, let's go ahead and get some cam gears. I don't know if those are performance or not. No, nope. they do have real performance ones in real life. And let's go smack those on. Except they don't go on that easy in real life. Uh, the water pump, power steering pump. And the alternator, those are the things we need too. So uh, I think we can. No, nope, alternator, power steering pump. I doubt there's a performance one, but let's just double check. Look at that, there is. I doubt there's a performance one. No performance water pump, though. Look at that, there is. That's weird. Why is there a performance power steering pump? That makes no sense to me. The alternator, we forgot the alternator. Wait, wait. There we go. The alternator. Gotta go to electronics for that alternator button. There we go. Gotta go to electronics for that alternator. Alright, so now we can start on the belts. Let's get that and the water pump fully. So now we can start on the belts. Let's get that and the water pump, water pump fully. And serpentine belt. We're almost there, guys. We're getting close. Getting close. Timing cover and idle the roller. So I doubt that's going to. Nope. Nope. I doubt that's going to. There we go. One of those and then coil cover. I wonder if we can paint that. And if we do, should we paint it the same color or well, what color is it? Mm, we can definitely paint that. I 
think we should try to match that red. No, because that's really Iron Man. -y. Let's, uh, let's tr I don't know. Let's, let's see what we can do over here. If we can even paint it. Yes, we can. So this is the color we used before. That's the gold. Though I don't really care for the way it looks. There's that. Black, maybe? I mean, you really can't go wrong with black. Yeah, let's see how that looks. Almost like a uh, top secret color scheme, if you guys know about top secret. Out of Japan. Okay, I dig it. That looks good. I am actually really, really happy with that. Oh, that looks good. I am actually really. Uh, I don't know if we can paint that or whatever color is going to come up. Uh, let's go see if we can paint it because I'm a little OCD like that. we can. And I'm glad that we did because you can tell. Alright, let's run back to the engine stand. You know, it would be nice if there was a way I could get all these painted in advance. You know, it would be nice if I'm supposed to have them running back and forth. Okay, yeah. See, that looks right. That looks correct. I feel like we're missing something, though. We're missing a belt. Oh, yes, we are. Idler pulley. And then another timing oh, cover. And guess what we're going to do? Another we're going to go paint cover. that. I know the stream is literally just me running back and forth between the engine stand and the paint booth. I know the stream is literally just me running back and forth between the engine stand and the paint booth. Hopefully, be the last time I run to the paint booth for this motor at least. Okay, worth it. We'll assume an oil filter, idler pulley B, and a crankshaft pulley. Idler roller. We need one more of those. I'm sure there's a performance oil filter. There's got to be. What? Really? I'm sure there's a performance oil filter. We're going to use a regular oil filter, huh? Really? And then crankshaft pulley. That. We're going to use a regular oil uh, filter. I don't know. I doubt, but we should check. No. Uh, I don't know. I doubt, but okay. we should check. Put that on. Idler pulley. Put that on. Then we need a serpentine belt. I put an oil filter on there. That real quick. Oof, I think we're almost done. No, no, we're not. Jeez. Belt tensioner. And radiator fan? No. It would be kind of cool if we could paint the radiator fan. But I doubt we can. Uh, we'll just check anyway. But I doubt we can. Yes, we can. We can paint the radiator fan, and that's getting painted matte black as well. Yes, we can. And that's getting painted matte black as well. Okay, that was kind of a cool little feature. Game. I did not know you could paint the radiator fan. Yeah, that was kind of a cool little feature in the game. I did not know you could paint the radiator fan. Even though it looks kind of... No, not really. It doesn't look ridiculous. It looks like it belongs there, to be honest. No, it looks kind of... No, not really. It doesn't look ridiculous. It looks like it belongs there. I think we're done. 
No, we saw the back end. No, we saw the back end. Um, somewhere. Oh, flywheel. That is definitely a performance part. Flywheel. So let's make sure we get that one. Definitely a performance part. Flywheel's on there. Now we need the clutch point. And we're going to make sure we get the performance one as well. And pressure plate, probably the same thing. Finally, we are done. So let's go ahead and. and I think finally, uh, finally, we are done. I guess we can. Oh yeah, we have to uh, take engine off the stand. All right, <laughs> finally back to the Dotson. Let's move that over to the Dotson. Finally back to the Dotson. And let's go ahead and throw this bad boy in. Install. That's the old one. This is the new one. And, oh, that, I think that was worth it. I think that was worth all the trouble. Oh, that, that was definitely worth, that all was worth, worth oh, that, that was definitely worth all the trouble. Look at worth how good that looks in there. Look at how good that looks in there. If you're wondering, that's like a happy pill for me. Trying to quit nicotine. <laughs> all right, uh, let's go ahead and put this back. Wow, <laughs> that looks really good. Um, all right, let's finish this motor up. So we'll go in here, go to parts mode. We need a new brake servo. Oh wait, oh. I wonder if that's a tuna. Fluid, the battery, the ECU, the radiator, and the intercooler. So let's do this. Let's get rid of all the motor stuff because we're pretty much done with that. So let's do this. Let's get rid of all the motor stuff because we're pretty much done with that. And the brake servo. So we need the washer. We need a battery. Which should be in electronics, or maybe there's a performance one. No, there's not. No, or maybe there's more. There we go. Battery, ECU. Oh wait, maybe there's a different ECU. No, that would have been too custom. Radiator. Maybe there's a performance radiator. No. Pretty sure there's got to be a yep, performance rate for the intercooler. There we go. Cool. Now I think we can finish the engine bay up at least. Um, now I think we can finish Let's rotate this around. Put the new ECU in. Uh, and there was something else we got, right? Oh, battery. And then we need a fuse box cover. Which I'm pretty sure is over here. Pretty good so far, except for the cooling. And the intercooler. We need the, oh, and the air filter base. So that should be in here, maybe. No. I know the air filter is definitely a performance one. Should be at least. I know the air filter is definitely yep. All right, cool. Performance one. Should be. And then yep. top part. Yep. Ah, why does it keep doing that? Oh, because when we were working yeah. in the engine stand, that's why. Nope.
Stamsis. All right. Uh, should we take the time now to fill up the fluids or do it later? We'll do it later. All right, let's go ahead and fit the intercooler and work on the suspension parts too. Good. Looks so good. Oh man. Alright, let's start off with the rear end. So fuel tank. We need that. Fuel tank. I wonder if there's a performance one. Doubt it. Yeah, I was But there is a performance fuel Doubt filter. Yeah. Which we need to also get. That's taken care of. And then let's go over here. Coil and relief spring. Then let's go over here. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be a performance part, but it was worth it a shot. Look at how brand new that looks. All right, all right. Let's go with a uh, rear shock absorber and a spring cut. Air ride. I, I don't know if we can what was the air ride. thing we needed? We need the shock absorber. Can we put air ride? Because I saw air ride. Front air shock. Doubt it, but nope, nope, we cannot. That would have been too cool. I think we need two of those, and then we need two spring cups. So that's assembled, and then we need solid axle control cool. arm. That's assembled. Two of those. Solid axle control. Let's put those in, and then I guarantee you we're going to need a crap ton of rubber bushings. So let's just go ahead and preemptively buy like 20, 30 of them, just to be on the safe side. Since we're doing it like this, it should be easier for the other side. And then we'll have three, two of those. Then we'll get to the fun stuff. I wonder if that is performance. Uh, maybe two, just to be on the safe side. Uh, maybe two, just to be on the safe side. Now, the brakes, I know that we can do performance stuff with that. Because I did that now earlier. I know that we can do performance stuff with that. Because I did that mm. earlier. I did do that earlier. sure if they'll fit, but let's try. Just to be on the safe side. Uh, sure fit, but let's oh, we can. Look at that. There we go. I know the brake pads. They don't oh, have performance brake pads. That. There we go. For whatever reason. And we need like four of those. For whatever reason. And caliper. Oh, 
for cylinders. like one of the last things I plan on doing. Solid control line. Rubber bushing. Throw that on. Spring cap. Throw that on. Rear spring. Glad we bought that other axle because we did need it. And the disc, brake pads, caliper, and then the wheel will save for later. Um, pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. We have a performance exhaust. Look at how good that looks. if they have performance middle stuff and catalytic converter and that. Doubt it, but we'll see. Middle muffler, they do. Catalytic converter, they do. And front suction, they do. Cool. So the entire exhaust system is performance now. Oh, that looks so good. if we can do a custom gearbox. Starter? Starter? No. Regular starter. Which. What? Oh, it's electronics. No. Uh, I guess it's the regular one. Which doesn't make sense because those can easily snap. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh. Now let's do the front suspension. Cross member. sure we don't need to worry about that being performance because it is just a cross member bushings not look like that. I doubt there's a, no, body tuning, no. Install that, there we go. I'm pretty sure we could paint that too, but I am not painting all the stuff. that steering rack. Let's get a new steering rack. Mm, in our tie rod, we need two of those. One for each side. And then we need two front knuckles.
of all this. Starting with the tie rod and the knuckle, because I think we d did the knuckle too. I know, it really would have been. I know, it really would have been. It really would have been. I'm sorry, I, I don't know why the chat just came through now or I just noticed it, but sorry about that, really Justin Swift. Been. Sorry, I, I don't know why the chat just came through um, now. Let's see, uh, front steering knuckle, we got that. Let's do the lower suspension um, arm, we need two of those. Uh, we got that. Two shock absorbers. Front knuckle cover, two of those, and two of those. I think that should get us pretty close to done. So let's go ahead and throw that together. All right, there's that. Tie rod. Now, for the longest time, well, not for the longest time, for the short amount of time I've been playing this game, I couldn't figure out how to get the shock absorber put back together. Uh, but that's because, just like in real life, uh, just like, hey, what's going on, Groggy? How are you? Hey, no worries, man. I'm, I've been just kind of putzing around on Car Mechanic Simulator. Um, yeah. Anywho, uh, front wheel head. Let's go ahead and buy two of those, so that we don't have to mess around with that later. But uh, yeah, anyway, back to the suspension part, right? Um, we actually have to uh, use a spring compressor. So, yeah. See. So we need the spring and the top mount. So let's go ahead and buy those two. So we need the spring and the top So spring, front spring, front spring, front spring, front spring. There it is right there. Two of those. Buy two top hats, basically. And now we got to go over. Well, let's throw the wheel head on first before I forget. And then we'll come back and do the brakes. So it took me forever to find this stupid little thing right here. And if you've ever used one of these in real life, it's actually terrifying. I remember when I was in high school, um, there was this kid, his name was Rafa, and he had a Volkswagen bug, and a pretty cool dude. And um, we were in auto shop, and uh, he was taking his shock assembly apart, and I guess he didn't put it on properly because I just remember that thing flying across the auto shop. And <laughs> it was cool at the time, but looking back, I was just like, man, that's pretty dangerous. Let's buy two front sway links. I mean, I would have loved to have seen some like Heim joint ones, but like you know, I, I think that's a little much for this game. And since we already bought the brakes from earlier, we can just go and slide those on. Same with the brake pads and the calipers. That's one thing I learned about this game is thinking ahead. Wait, something's missing because it's not letting me put the wheel on. Oh, it's the wheel hub there. Dang. We need two of those. And the wheel hub caps. Holy crap. See, this game gets really into the details. And I feel like in real life it'd be easier because you're actually taking it apart and you're making an inventory of what you actually need. So now we get to start all over from the other side, but we bought all the stuff already, so we should be able to just click it on. Um, tie rods. Let's go ahead and knock those out real quick. If only they were this easy in real life. Um, tie rods. Front knuckle cover. If only they were the wheel hub. Uh, let's do that bearing real quick. And the shock absorber. Again, if it was only this easy in real life, we would all have like awesome project cars. They wouldn't even be project cars anymore. They would just be cars. Why is the screen black? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it shouldn't be black. I mean, on my side, it's showing 
regular. Uh, it shouldn't be black. I mean, on my side, it's showing regular. I'm going to try leaving the stream and coming back. Okay, what are we missing? We're missing something. Oh, sway bar front end link. Okay, what are we missing? We're missing something. Oh. Okay, so now it's time to get a little bit more customizing. Just gonna okay. drop this down. Yes, it has a turbo. For some reason, I'm able to swap in a 2J into this, and I upgraded the yes, uh, the motor with pretty much the limit of what the game will let me. So we'll once we get everything put together, we'll take it over to the dyno, and we'll actually see um, what uh, kind of power we put down. Groggy, it's been black for the whole stream, it says. Uh, has anybody else in the stream noticed the... Screen being black, or just Has anybody else in just groggy. Okay, yeah, like I said, you probably just had to leave. Um, okay, so next up, some okay. body panels. Um, so for this, let's go ahead and switch to assemble mode. All right, we'll just go ahead and quickly mark what we need. Front bumper, window. Rear bumper, trunk, right tail light, left tail light, that, that window, and then of course we'll have to come back and get that window because for some reason it won't let me do it like that. So then we'll go to the store, body tuning shop. I don't think this is one of the cars where you can customize like the actual body, so we'll have to go here. Wait, no, that's not right either. You know what? We'll just do this. Literally buy every body panel. You know what? That way we don't have to worry about it later. Literally buy every body panel. That way we don't have to worry about it later. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and throw this together. Uh, let's okay. see. It should have came from the factory 317, uh, but see. since we added on all that stuff, once we get it dyno, we'll actually be able to see how much power it made. After the, all the goodies we put on. And of course, I'm going to let you guys pick the color of which we paint this. Which should be next. Once I put all the doors and stuff back on and windows. And then we can pick the wheels out. I have an idea of what I want to do for that. Um, I'm thinking some meaty tires in the rear because I'm not a huge fan of stance um, but I do like it on some cars um, I just think for the uh, Datsun, at least for this build we should do something a little bit more traditional maybe oh. and we'll add a license plate later red, you think so? okay, let's what are we doing next? painting, that's right, let's go ahead and Take the what car and move to the paint. Should we wash it first? First, we should probably wash it. In real life, you would wash the car first, and we then you'd go paint it. Don't you guys love the animation for the, the washing? Actually, I think it kind of did make a little bit of a difference. Okay, let's move it to the paint booth. Actually, I think it kind of did make a little bit of a difference. All right, so you guys say red. You guys want red. So what kind of red? Do we want dark red? Do we want uh, like a light red? Do we want dark red? Do we want like a pearl maybe? Moss green. Moss green. Let's see. Moss green. Like that's like a darker green, right? The first red. That's like a darker. Okay, so I have one for red and I have one for green. So we need somebody to break the tie here. One for red and I have one for green. So we need somebody to break the tie here. Green. 
green. Okay, we'll go with the dark green. And I think that green. is going to be okay. we'll a gloss or a metallic, I think. Moss green. All right, let's see here. Let's tune that green a little bit. I want it to look wet. Uh, maybe. What do you guys think? Maybe. What do you guys think? All right. Now, also, since we're painting this green, I want you guys to start thinking about what color wheels. Right, I have an idea in my head. Green, I, um, I just don't know how it'll look. What color wheels? I have an idea in my head. Okay, we'll go with this green, and then we'll just go ahead and paint that. Okay, we'll go with this green, and then we'll just go ahead and paint that. You know what, guys? I think you were right. That looks pretty dang good. Look at that. You know what, guys? I think you were right. That looks pretty Especially on this light here. All right, let's go ahead and move this back to the second car lift. All black wheels. Okay, all right. All right, well, I was kind of thinking maybe gold, but, I mean, that's just my bias because um, I like gold wheels. But let's see. So these are the wheels that you can select from, and they don't have the old-school Watanabes that I like, but they do have uh, – where are they? These kind of old-school-looking ones. Chrome black, huh? These kind of old school or should we go with like steelies? What do you guys think? Steelies or like huh? these ones? Or should we go with like steelies? What do you guys think? Steelies or like black or chrome? Okay, let's find some. Black. What about the Zondo wheels? What do you guys think about Zonda wheels on here? What about the Zondo wheels? Some steelies. Hmm. Yeah, the Zondas. Yeah, the Zondas. I think we can paint the, paint them maybe. I don't know. I've actually never tried painting I think the wheels. We can paint the, paint them maybe. I don't know. I've actually never tried painting the wheels. Wheels really do make or break a build, so. Like, my really gut is telling me to go with something a little bit more classic because if you guys were watching earlier in the stream, we did that with the motor and it came out horrible, so I had to redo everything. But wheels are a little bit easier. We did that with the motor and it came out horrible. What are these? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and, well, you guys voted, actually. So, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead All right, so I need you guys to vote. Uh, voted, actually. Rim 35A All right, so or I Rim 35, uh, Rim 35A or the Zondas. All right, or Rim 35, uh, Rim 35A or the Zondas. Okay, so we have one for the Zondas. Groggy, I'm going to assume so you're probably going to go with the same thing, Zondas. too. So let's go ahead and buy two of those, and we'll get those in 15s, I think. All right, so we'll do the Zondas. So let's do 15s in the rear. We'll, we'll do 15s all the way around, um, but with zero offset. Wait, I said 15s, right? Yeah, 15s, zero offset. So here we go. So we have the wheels selected. Now let's go ahead and buy some tires. So we have the wheels selected. Now let's go ahead and buy Okay, so tires. We'll go with the race tire. Do you guys want full slicks or do you guys want like the F1 style with the red and the yellow on the side? Do you guys want full slicks or do you guys want like the F1 style with the red and the yellow on the side?
I don't know why it's lagging so much, but there there's a huge lag between when I talk and you guys. Uh, I, I don't know set the settings to ultra low latency and still, but it is what it is. Race tire B. Race tire B? These ones? Okay. Race tire B. All right, so Race for the fronts, B. we got to go 15s, and I These think they really should be skinnier, so we All should right, do so like maybe a 205. I think they really should be skinnier. 205, so maybe a 35? Yeah, 205, 35 in the front. And then for the rear. I want to do something kind of crazy. We'll do like a 315. For the rear, 315, 30 in the rear. We'll do like a 315. And we got two of those. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and we got to get these mounted up. So just like in real life, let's go to the tire changer. So these are the rears and we need to put the 315s on the rears. Guys, look how beefy that looks. Too. So this is another rear, 315 in the rear. Remove that. Then we'll do the fronts, which are a 205. My math may have been wrong on this, but we'll see how it looks. I think you guys made the right choice with the Zondas, to be honest. And let's go ahead and balance these bad boys. So it's like almost a little mini game in the game itself, balancing these tires. Two more to go. Oh, this one's really out of balance. Two more to go. I'm sure it's randomized, but I wonder if it has anything to do with uh, uh, the tire sun and stuff like that, like in real life. Because the fronts, if you notice, needed to be balanced a little bit more than the rear. Let's go ahead and put this thing up a little bit more. And we got to make sure we do this right. So we need to make sure we put the 315s on the rear. Guys, I am actually really excited about this. Oh wait, we still got to do the interior too. Totally forgot about that. Can't wait to get this thing around. Oh wait, we still got to do the interior too. Totally forgot about uh, that. Uh, 205s. Yep, fronts. I feel like we probably could have gone with a 225, but I mean, it's okay. It's not a huge deal. It's not like this is an actual track car. This is just a, a video game. Okay, okay. Those rears though, look at how fat they are. All right, let's go ahead and get the interior taken care of. Then we can go ahead and get this thing dyno tuned. All right, let's go ahead and get the so the seats, front seat, front left seat, and steering wheel. Let's see what we can buy. Normal mode. Now we gotta go to interior setup. No, wait. Because I, I think we can put in custom seats, no. so let's I take a look here. I know that there's some race seats and stuff like that. Ooh. Now, I, I've been kind of... A, oh, Ooh. that one looks nice. Oh, that's a 370Z seat. Now, I, I've been kind of... A, 
I like the F type too and the GTRC. Because that is the original one right here. And while I do appreciate it, this is a resto mod. So. Let's put a race seat in it. Or the Zonda seat. Mm, no, I feel like the, the race seat will be good. If we can actually put it in there. No, I feel like the race seat will be good. And then we can go ahead and put in a less aggressive one. Let's see if we can do that. Yes, we can. And then we'll put the GTRC there. Maybe not the GTRC. We need, let's put the regular one. Maybe not the GTRC. Let's put the regular seat in there. Put the regular fairly easy seat. I don't know if we can put a harness though. That's the thing. I don't think it goes that in depth. I don't know if we can. Put it would be cool though. Oh, we didn't even pick a steering wheel. Let's go back here. Now I want kind of um like a Sparco looking one. Because I feel like something like this is Zonda one would just look ridiculous to be honest. Uh, let's see like what the like closest that one that looks like it would be Sparko. Uh, let's see what the closest one that looks like it would be Oh, man. Actually, the Porsche 964 one looks the closest to what would be good. Actually, the Porsche 964 one looks We could always do, like, wood grain. Let's do this one, the Rollet. There we go. We're almost there, guys. Almost. Why, why does it keep doing that? We're almost there, guys. Almost. Okay, I think that was a good call. All right, let's lower her down, and we'll move her outside, and then we can get a look of it better in the sun. Oh, actually, before we do that, we need to add oil and all that other good stuff to the car. So. Add washer fluid. I mean, like I said, this game's pretty in depth. Ask me how I know you have to fill up the fluids. All right, what else? Engine oil for sure. And then we actually have to check to see how much engine oil we added in there. Dipstick. And yeah, we look good. While we're in here, let's go ahead and add brake fluid. Yeah, we look good. And there's power steering fluid. That's the last one we need. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. There's power steering fluid. That's the last one we need. We're about to find out. We're almost there. Almost there. Um, we need one more thing. Where's the power steering? After that, we might be good. There we go. Uh, actually, I don't think this car has that. All right, let's move it outside. Well, what do you guys think? Interesting. 
Well, let's take it over to the dyno then. We'll just see <laughs> how much power it puts down. If we can even start it. We'll just see how much power it puts down. Engine can't be started. Why can the engine not be started? The battery? Battery's 100%. What did we miss? better than stupid fuses. If it was the fuses, that's gonna be so dumb. If it was the fuses, we're just gonna replace all the fuses real quick. I, I bet that's what it is. It's gotta be. You know what? <laughs> I think you're right. I don't know if we put the you know starter what? on. <laughs> I think you're right. I don't know if we put the starter on. Did we put a starter on the motor? <laughs> we did not put a starter. Oh my god. All right, let's move it back to the lift. <laughs> we did not put a starter. It happens. Oh it happens. Right. Let's move it back to the lift. <laughs> Sure as heck, we did not put a starter on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure as heck, we did not. It's embarrassing. I call myself a car guy. It's embarrassing. I call myself a car guy. Gosh, how did we forget that? <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's god, let's bring it outside. How did we forget that? Let's see if we can get it started oh up. Right, but now we got to do the fuses. I thought it was a fuse. Alright, let's see if it'll start now. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> When you put a starter in it, actually wants to start. Let's get out. We'll move, the <laughs> we'll move the car to the dyno and give you guys what you really wanted. We'll move the car to the dyno. All right. Here you go. Leaf spring plate. Are you kidding me? I don't know why it let us put on the stupid wheels if the leaf spring plate was missing. Now we need two of those. Oh my god. I'm sorry guys. Also in real life, this is a, a good example of um, writing things down, like what you take off, and labeling everything. Okay, I think we're good now. Alright, we should be able to move this thing over to the dyno. Unless there's something else I'm missing. Clip B? Unless there's something else I'm missing. Oh, it's for the intakes. Oh, it's for the intakes. Stupid. 
stupid. Get this thing started. And enter. There we go. Factory power is 317. I'm going to say like maybe 415 or something like that. Pretty sure this car is going to handle like doo doo. Pretty sure this car is going to handle like to outside the garage. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for tonight. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I had a lot of fun uh, fixing up this car, and thanks for you guys' input. I think the car came out beautiful. And um, I'll be streaming again next week, so uh, see you guys later. Thanks again, and have a good one.